you've seen the movie, and you've seen the characters develop. You've experienced the story and survived the emotional roller coaster that is Sophie's fight against the machine. But what you haven't seen is how it was all made. So join us as we take a step back to where it all begun. The story of Mum was, uh, well, went through a lot of uh, changes, but the essential idea was to parody the current uh, health and safety systems and um, the, the way it uh, affects people. And so we thought that would be quite a fun way of looking at it by um, making it a futuristic sort of version of that. So when I first heard the idea about kind of a health and safety versus productivity, I thought, that's great, we can definitely work with that. At one point, Gregory Goshawk was Sophie's father, and he had put his dead wife into the mum unit, so that one was pretty wacky. And ultimately we landed on just a unit called mum, ironically being a health and safety robot, sort of gone a bit rogue. Creation of mum. So that took a lot of work. First we were doing a bunch of sketches, working with Marcus and some of the concept artists, Craig and Chloe and all of that. And uh, then we took it into 3D, had to refine it down from, you know, a cylinder shape, which was our first idea, kind of find out what the other shapes were and uh, get it down from there. There was a lot of uncertainty and there was a lot of, you know, not, not quite sure and everyone was a bit tentative around each other. So that was probably the, the low point because it was just kind of like starting off and we were, we were all very unsure. One week before shooting, I was doing all of the planning for the actual film shoot and we were incredibly underprepared. So we had maybe half a week to do the entire 3D pre-visualization. Uh, so a few of us jumped onto that and made sure that it was good and we actually managed to get it completed and it really helped out on set. Yeah, that was long days from like 7am to 11pm for like four or five days straight. That one was tough, yeah. Even before, just before being on set, we weren't too sure how things were gonna pan out with certain shots. For instance, mum's control room. Um, those things kind of came together when we got there. As someone who's never really been on a set before, uh, watching how the whole film set worked was quite cool. And I was very, I was immensely impressed with the film students and how well they, and how they managed the gear and got everything set up and how much they actually, <laughs> I didn't realise how much you guys actually like uh, put together with a film set and it was quite impressive to see. The chemical is actually surprisingly good for the fact that I've never worked with them before. Like I had Lookman as my AC, he was really good. I had Oshin as Grip and I had uh, Matt Wilms as Gaff and they all did a really good job. So when we were in the control room, uh, there was a, a part where we're running out. Uh, there wasn't lots of space after, you know, out of frame in the, in, the, in the room. So I wasn't running quite fast enough. It looked like we slowed down as we left the shot. So Marcus uh, said, oh, just, you know, run out there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, cut. He ran into the wall. The stuff we did on set, like the, the actual filming, that was the professionality. Just that's, that's just the, that's what I will remember. Let's say, let's put it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's that kind of Kiwi attitude of just get stuck and get it done. I, I don't think there's any one of us that has ever gone, oh, I don't want to do another job. Like that, that's so not been the attitude. The attitude is like we want to get this done and we want to get this done well. The catering was amazing, man. Yeah, actually having somebody yeah, to cater. Yeah, shout out to the caterers. Yeah, shout, shout out. <laughs> Taking somebody else's words and script and bringing those to life um, in a way that they would appreciate and a way that I feel comfortable with doing or excited about doing, um, that's quite a, a unique experience and I really enjoyed that. Uh, yeah, the most amazing thing that uh, struck me the most was the professionality on set, especially Jackie yes. and Tyler. They were pretty amazing. Post-production was quite uh, quite a challenge because we were learning a lot of software at the same time as you know learning how to communicate as a team. After filming, it is strange because you'd think that the filmies jobs are done, but as a big group and as we have the deadline coming up, we all have to kind of pick up new skills to achieve um, all the tasks. Of course, like the animators always there to help out with anything that we don't understand. 
which is a lot. We've learned a lot, a lot of new things because um, dealing with live action as opposed to just a straight 3D film is a lot different. So um, I wouldn't say it's been a, a nightmare, not, not quite that bad, but it's definitely been a challenge in a, in a lot of ways. Oh yeah, I, I love rotoscoping. Um, I could do it all day. I am doing it all day at the moment. Um, it's just something I really excel at. The film's coming into its final stages now and it's looking really good. Uh, the soundtrack is quite amazing and Tim's done a great job on creating and composing a really nice soundtrack for the film. Obviously not one of us would be able to do all of this ourselves. So when the whole entire team comes together, we can actually achieve something that's actually really impressive. And I don't think there's like a single person who is worth any more than any of the other team members at this point. My executive producer, our tutor, Rachel, um, in helping and supporting when there's been things that have gone wrong or things I thought have gone wrong and she's been incredibly um, helpful and informative. You hear all these horror stories from previous years but we haven't really encountered any of that. Um, you know, you have your moments of frustration but um, they pass pretty quick and I think everyone's pulled together as a, as a team, especially now as we're coming near the end of it. So, okay. Yeah, okay. Could you, could you, ask, <laughs> could you ask this question? You know, will it win the Oscar for Best Short Film? Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, of course it's going to win an Oscar, yeah. Cool, that's a wrap.